What's up guys, my name is Adrian Rivera and today I'm going to show you how to stereo mix in FL Studio so you can get your songs sounding more widespread. Sorry if you hear some construction in the background, my neighbors are doing something to their backyard. So you're going to be hearing that a lot in this video. I apologize in advance, it's probably going to get really annoying. I'm already pretty annoyed, but hopefully it isn't as audible in the mic as it is in real life. Now what exactly is stereo imaging? Stereo imaging is essentially taking the elements in your song and making it sound more widespread so it sounds like it's surrounding you, which we call that stereo, or making it more focused and in the center so it sounds right in front of you, and we call that mono. And in today's example, I'm gonna be using my Young Sinatra beat that I made in my last video. So if you wanna go check that out, there's a card up here. Click that after you're done watching this video and you'll be able to see how I made this logic type beat. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content on how to use FL Studio, and turn on the bell notification icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, leave a comment for what you wanna see next and let me know which one of these tips help you the most. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Now there's a bunch of different ways to getting a stereo sound, but one of the first and easiest things to do is using the stereo separation knob at the bottom of each mixer channel. It's this little knob right here that allows you to make things sound more mono if you turn it to the right and more stereo if you turn it to the left. And I tend to use this knob on almost every single element of my song. But one thing I always use this on is my vocals. And vocals is one of the things that I feel should be more stereo because it gives it that more widespread sound and helps bring out the presence a little more. So just to give you an idea of what that sounds like, this is the vocal without any stereo separation. Yeah, this that Young Sinatra flow just like I did it before. The only thing that changed, got a couple million to my name. Homie, that's insane. But this is the vocals with 100% stereo separation. Yeah, this that Young Sinatra flow just like I did it before. The only before. thing that changed, thing that changed got a couple change. million to my name. Homie, that's insane. And this is the vocals with 100% mono. Yeah, this that Young Sinatra flow just like I did it before. The only thing that changed, got a couple million to my name. Homie, that's insane. But and obviously, this is going to sound a lot more clear if you're wearing headphones, so please make sure that you're wearing headphones while you're watching this video. But you can see the big difference between stereo and mono. And me personally, I feel that vocals sound a lot better when they're stereo. So I slightly separate my vocals all the time. I bring this up to about 20 to 30 percent and I think that's just a good place to keep it because you don't want to go too overboard with stereo or else it'll just sound too widespread and not natural and you don't want to go too mono because then that might sound too focused and out of place. So generally for vocals I like to do around 20 to 30 percent but vocals is not the only thing that you can stereo separate. You can see in my mix that I also separated the piano, the roads, these hums, and some of the elements of the drums because overall I like to have a more spread sound in my songs. But music is all preference so whatever you feel sounds best for your song make sure you stick with. But I would recommend adding a little more stereo to certain elements elements and vice versa adding mono to other elements such as the bass to make things sound more focused. Now the reason why I monoed the bass is because when you're mixing a general rule is having the low end more mono and the higher end more stereo. This just gives your song a good balance between mono and stereo and sounds the most natural to the listener. So things like your bass, your kick drums, more of the low end stuff should be mono. Another option is panning and having different elements of your song panned can just make things sound more widespread in general. As you can see, I have these hats panned more to the right. And the reason for this is because I wanted to add more realism to these drums. So I wanted the hats to sound like they're coming from one direction over here, while you have the kick and the snare coming from the direct center of you. And realistically, if you were to be hearing this performed live, sounds would be coming from all different directions. So having certain things panned slightly to the right or to the left can add a sense of realism and help you out with your stereo imaging. So what I use is this panning knob that's also on every single mixer track, just like the stereo knob, and I only pan certain elements. The drums is a big one of those elements, but you can see I also pan these hums and these roads. Now, one thing I wanna talk about are some plugins that actually help you get more of a widespread sound, one of which is reverb. Reverb just allows your elements to sound like they're in a space that gives it a sense of realism and stereo separation. But one thing particular about reverb is that there is a dedicated stereo separation knob for the reverb itself. So if you wanted your reverb to sound more widespread, you have a stereo and mono knob for the reverb itself. So just to give you guys an example of what that sounds like, here's the reverb without any stereo separation. Young Sinatra flow just like I did it before. Don't only thing that changed here's with 100% stereo separation young sinatra flow just like i did it before the only thing that changed and then 100% mono young sinatra flow just like i did it before the only thing that changed so what i would generally do is separate this slightly so there's a little more room but in general reverb just adds more stereo to your song another two plugins 
is the Fruity Stereo Enhancer and the Fruity Stereo Shaper. Enhancer, in general, just does the same thing that this stereo separation knob does. But the thing about this, it has a left and right phase offset. And rather than explaining, I'll just let you hear what that sounds like. Young Sinatra flow just like I did it before. The only thing that changed, got a couple million to my name. Homie, that's insane. But I'm still keeping it real, you feel? You feel? That's why the people, why the always, people always love me. You need to chill. I'm the one up in the playlist. That's why I'm A-list. That's why I'm famous. And sorry for those crackles. That was only from me turning the knob. It won't actually sound like that once you have it set. But hopefully that gives you a good idea of what phase offset does. It just makes the left channel and right channel play at different times so it sounds slightly more separated you also have the stereo shaper plugin that lets you individually edit the left and right channels you know it's just another way of editing your stereo so those are all your options for stereo imaging hopefully you have a better understanding of what stereo imaging is and now have a better stereo mix in your song but that's all for today guys like i said make sure to leave a like subscribe for more content like this and comment which one of these tips helped you the most dm me on my social media like instagram or twitter if you want to get into contact with me or ask me any questions. I always reply back, so don't be afraid to hit me up. Links are in the description to those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, don't be afraid to show your genius.